StreamYard very quietly rolled out some updates. Some may be new to you, while others you may have already heard of and you're probably already familiar with. Let's do it this way. Since my last StreamYard video, they've added several new hotkeys for things like slides, adding a second camera, turning on and off crop solo layout, and display names. And they've also added a timer for video clips, which has to be my personal favorite. <laughs> I know these aren't earth shattering, but for someone who uses the platform for an average of six client shows per week, these really have impact. Let me show you the step-by-step -step details in this video. I'm Kirk Nugent, your live video coach. And on this channel, I show you the nuts and bolts of live streaming for the DIY streamer. And today we're looking at additional StreamYard hotkeys and the video timer. As a bonus, we'll show you those hotkeys on the stream deck. So let's dive in. So here we are in StreamYard and we are already logged in. I've already got my camera added and you can see that top down shot there. Uh, what we're gonna do now is go into settings Right, settings and right here on the side we have hotkeys right the third one from the bottom right in the middle here we have hotkeys so we can hit that and it shows us all of the hotkeys that we've seen before and the ones that I want to highlight the new ones that are here for us to take a look at are the second camera is the first one <laughs> share second camera share second camera is the first one here and and I've set that to shift two so you're gonna want to set that to whatever is comfortable for you and you do want to make sure that as you go through your list that these are not things you may accidentally hit so that it'll cause more confusion than good so the hotkeys are great but we do want to make sure we don't step on the toes of other things and other functions features in the system so this one here shift to second camera that's one the next one is next slideshow slide and previous slideshow slide and these are already default set to right and left and i think that's good um i think some of us even just figured out right and left basically as we added those slides in and i'll show you what that looks like in a second so that's the these are these three are new fairly new based on the last video that i did so we have three right here uh, the next one down is the cropped solo layout. So this is cropped solo layout. And actually I have that set to command nine. Command nine is what I have it set to. I don't know what you're gonna have it set to, but you will need to make note of those as you go along. And then as we go down here, we have one more, which is toggle display names, toggle display names. Uh, this this one it allows you to turn those names on and off and i don't know about you but this is a feature that i use regularly uh in fact it's in that brand tab one of those sections in the brand tab and i actually don't t close it right you can expand and close those now i don't close it because i always want to be able to go back and forth in terms of turning those names on or off this is you know a broadcast thing that people do you don't just have the names on screen at all times you just may have them on for a little bit turn them back off, give the, the person the full focal point. And yes, that is a great one for them to have. I'm glad they added in here. And of course I set it to shift N, shift N. I just, you know, N for names. <laughs> I don't know what you'll set it to, but the main thing to do here as a quick, quick tip is to make note of your hotkeys and you can see that i've made note of them here second camera shift two next slide right arrow previous slide left arrow crop solo layout command nine toggle display name shift in you see all of those here and we'll use those maybe in the bonus section but this these are some of the these are the new hotkeys that they've added to the system new hotkeys that they've added to the system. The only other one that we I want to showcase here. So if I go under brand and of course you can see in brand, there's the theme one. And I generally have this one expanded because I'm always turning on and off display names. Now I can turn that off by just, I can ex ex collapse that so that I don't need it anymore. So that's pretty good. So I can collapse that because I, I don't need that anymore because I have that hotkey. Uh, so shift N will take care of me there. One of the things you'll notice if you haven't already is that in your video clip section, there's now times. Times are now included in your video clip section, which is awesome. So I'm gonna play, you know, this very short 33 second uh, intro here. 
you're not going to be able to hear that because I don't have that audio piped in. But what you can see here is not only is it playing, but you can see the time is actually ticking down for us to be able to see. You can see that we're at 13, 14 seconds, 15 seconds of 33. So it's not just that you have the length of the video displayed. As the video is playing, you can now see what that length is. So that that's actually pretty awesome. Right? That's it's really awesome. So for, for a, 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 a producer like me who wants to be able to count that thing down, be able to uh, send a message in the private chat saying this is how much time we have left. That is clutch. So those are some of the new features that we have available in StreamYard that they have given to us. And I would love to hear what you think about them. Right before we go, I want to actually take a second and just kind of walk through some of those uh, hotkeys just for you to be able to see what they do, even as we use them on the keyboard. Right. I want to make sure people know these hotkeys are for keyboard shortcuts. They are. Yes, they are applicable for your stream deck and you can see my stream deck here, but there these are actually for your keyboard. So let's try for that first one, which is share second camera, which is shift two. So you can see me here, shift two. And there you have a second camera. I can add that second camera in. I can say share. And now I've got my second camera here. And if I add it to the stream, you would see that second camera there. That's pretty awesome. OK, so shift to second camera. Um, let's go ahead and add a slide to the screen. And you can see that slide has been added. We're going to do picture in picture uh, just to, to make that actually take up the whole screen. And then we'll just do right and left to be able to take up to go next slide, next slide, previous slide, previous slide. So that's pretty cool. Again, um, those are the two next hotkeys that we have. And then the, the next one, just remove the slideshow from the screen is uh, to be able to crop your solo layout. So I'm in solo layout view right now, right? This is solo layout. But if I want to crop in on it, I would do command nine. So we're going to do command nine real quick. And there it is. You can see that as I hit command nine, that's cropping in and cropping out. So that is actually pretty cool. I know some people have actually designed their background to take advantage of that that cropped layout feature or function. So that's there. And then the last one is the toggle display names, toggle display names. And I have that set to shift N. And you can see that go away. Of course, I have my overlay on the screen right now, but there may be a time when I don't have it on the screen and I want to put that back and have that 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 name on the screen as well. But shift N does that for us. You can see that um, as it ticks out, ticks away there uh, on the screen. So that's pretty cool. These are pretty cool, very functional uh, additions to the hotkey uh, uh, layout. And I'm excited to be able to start using them in my live shows. Back to hotkeys for just a second. In a previous video, I showed you the steps to set up your stream deck with all the hotkeys available at that time. For these four or five new ones here, here is a brief refresher. Of course, your Stream Deck must be set up, plugged in, software installed, and your profile needs to be created. So all we're doing to add these is to go into StreamYard, make note of what you set those new hotkeys to, then open up the Stream Deck software and the desired profile where you want these keys available. Select system from the options on the right, click and drag hotkey, not hotkey switch, but hotkey onto an available button. Once there, type the title you want to appear on the stream deck in the title line as shown, then click in the hotkey line and perform the keyboard shortcut for your hotkey, which you made note of in StreamYard. Lastly, you may want to select an icon for these buttons. You can do that by clicking the down arrow on the default icon shown, then choose the option that best suits you. I choose to open the Stream Deck icon library and I'm going to select one from there. But you may have downloaded the icons from StreamYard or created them yourself, in which case you would select set from file right here and then that's it. 
Follow that process for the other buttons and you're good to go. StreamYard is growing their feature set. Learn more about them or check out the full Stream Deck tutorial in these videos.